Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of our Altered Art Spotlight series brought to you in part by Magic Madhouse and the official MTG Altered Art Facebook group. If you want to see pretty things all the time, go like the Facebook page. Who doesn't love pretty stuff? Anywho, in this episode we're really stepping up the quality. You'll see Link, the Incredible Hulk, a beloved serial mascot, and more. So sit back, relax, and enjoy some of the most awesome altered artwork you've ever seen, oh baby. We'll begin with serial altars and this breathtaking pair of saw rings. I mean, wow, like, wow. It was the background purples and pinks that first caught my eye, but that hand detail is beyond impressive, and they're a set with two hands reaching out that's so cute, right? Anyways, the contours along the fingers, on the palm, the wrists, this is some exquisite shadow work. I haven't seen hands like these in a while. Serial Altars is really pushing the envelope with realism here. Beautiful pair of cards. They go quite well as a set. Serial's second altar is this mind-blowing rendition of Link from the Zelda franchise. And come on, if this isn't impressive, I don't know what is. This doesn't even look like it was painted. I think what really struck me was the sword covering the text box, and just that little bit of hair crossing into the border of the card really gives it a 3D feel. Between the bright blue eyes, the blonde hair, the greens in the background, and the strong browns in the belts, this is a treat for the eyes. I can imagine playing this as your commander and turning a lot of heads. I'd love to own this, it's so cool. Next up, we have MRB Altars with a returning visit. With original art done by Mike Diodato, MRB has killed it with this Omnath Locus of Rage. The more I look at it, the more entranced I become. It looks like Hulk is coming through the card. It does. You gotta admit, this looks as real as it's gonna get. From the textures on Hulk's hand to the crevices of the card being torn apart to the cracks through the rest of the card, everything came together perfectly here. I think what really sold me was a combination of the facial details and the 3D feel of Hulk's hands as he rips apart the card. It's just a powerful image. This is truly wonderful. MRB's second piece is a bit more lighthearted. Say hello to Toucan Sam of Fruit Loops fame. I'm sorry, but I can't help but enjoy an altar like this. And on such a fitting car too, Birds of Paradise, genius concept. The minimally detailed background is perfect when all you want to focus on are the bright colors of Sam and his serial pals. In Wooburg order, I might add, it's very important. Don't get me wrong. I do enjoy, you know, more serious altars, like the one we just saw. But something about this lighthearted, almost whimsical style makes me really happy. The details on the Fruit Loops is even impressive. Man, I am hungry. Pit My Deck Altars also returns to the show with a bang. I mean, wow, Scion of the Ur Dragon altered to be Super Saiyan 3 Goku and Golden Shenron from the Dragon Ball franchise. I may be a bit biased because I adore all things Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z slash GT whatever, but this is beautifully altered, right? Ignoring how amazing Shenron looks for a second, check out the details on Goku. His hair is immaculate, the shadows on his clothing, perfect, and I love, love, love how his fist gets bigger as it approaches the viewer. That's some sweet depth work right there. As a huge fan of the franchise, I'd be proud to own this altar. Dragon Ball fans, what do you think? This is kind of sick, right? Pit My Deck's second piece is this stunning Badlands altar to be Mordor with original art inspiration coming from Jian Guo. The picture isn't the best, but if this style of altar is something you enjoy, this assuredly will impress you. It may just be me, but I love custom borders, and the border created for this card helps it to stand out. Beyond that, the stained glass feel of the altar is a big thing for me, with colors clashing all over the place. They took a relatively dull card in general and made it vibrant and shining. Definitely a fan of this, just huge fan. So what do you think? Did you like today's altars? Remember, if you enjoyed what you saw and want to contact any of the artists spotlighted in this video, their contact information is in the description. Nothing like having your own unique altered cards, right? They're pretty cool. If there's something specific you'd like to see on this series, be sure to let me know and I'll do my best to accommodate you. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.